Is atheism a religion? To consider this, we will need to know what atheism is and what a religion is. What is atheism? The most flaccid definition we have run across is that atheism is a lack of belief in any gods, and this is without actually attempting to describe a god. In real life, this ranges across to people who believe that no god exists and hate him. In that case, we agree. The god they hate does not exist, possibly except as a misinterpretation or an idol. Running with the lightest definition, lacking a belief is actually a positive belief, that there is nothing in a specific domain to believe. The domain has been supplied, any gods. Boiling that down to the basics, atheism is the belief that there is nothing in the domain gods to believe exists. If we detour to the a god, including an idol, well, plenty of those exist. However, they are physical objects, or representations of same, devised by humans, and have no effects of their own beyond being a token of something else, so we would not be significant in terms of belief. What is theism? To cover all of the bases, so to speak, we should consider theism, which is a belief that at least one god exists. This is still a very broad spread, as monotheism, a subset of theism, is the belief that one god exists. Polytheism is the belief that more than one god exists. Pantheism is the belief that everything is god. Panentheism is the belief that everything includes godness. An idol, whether physically represented or not, is a facade standing in for some other entity which is able to make changes that merely physical beings can't, so it isn't in any meaningful sense a god itself. What is religion? This is not as simple as many would assume. A religion appears to possess these elements – beliefs, behaviour, devotion and a higher purpose. The set of beliefs promotes certain behavioural practices which are followed devotedly in order to serve a higher purpose. A single belief is not sufficient to define a religion, and neither consequent behaviours nor devotion of any kind are necessary in either case, so both theism and atheism fall short of being religions. While atheism can be seen as an alternative to theism, and vice versa, it is neither rational nor reasonable to regard either as a religion or as an alternative to religion. The place they both fill is a foundation upon which a religious system may be constructed. A classic example of same is Buddhism, which fits within the boundaries of religion however does not posit a god in any form, so as constructed on an atheistic foundation. Atheistic Religions Communism, emperor adoration and secular humanism often fill the bill of religions built upon atheistic foundations. One variant of emperor adoration is extreme nationalism, as demonstrated by Baldur von Chirac, leader of the Hitler Youth, who asserted, our religion is Germany. The entire situation at the time was not so clear, as the Austrian-Hungarian Führer of the time consistently demonstrated occultic behaviours and actively opposed communism, while leading the National Socialist German Workers' Party, a fusion of socialism with highly racist Volkish nationalism. However, many Axis citizens were religiously nationalistic. Being a sports fanatic, dedicated to an individual, a team or a nation, or a fan of a specific musician or band, 
and it's a collection of beliefs which require specific devoted behaviour in order to serve a higher purpose, or treating consumer goods and services as inordinately important, or, this is ethical hedonism, treating pleasure as the most important thing, are all religions in nature, yet do not involve any theism. This is not precisely a free choice, however a narcissist typically treats their grandiose false self-image as the most important thing. So while it could be treated as a form of idolatry, there is no actual theism in play there either. Science is a process, the essential principle of which revolves around the pursuit and application of evidence-based knowledge in order to find replicable results and form reliable conclusions via systematic methodologies for testing and challenging theories and hypotheses. As with any industry, the world of science is filled with entities that have varying degrees of biases and expertise, as well as other unscientific influencing factors. So we should not complacently mistake a blind faith in this broad and diverse sector as being scientific. Many people, including popular science commentators, have developed a blind faith in information that is presented as being scientific, by nature or by source, when, sometimes despite the publisher being a scientific organisation, it is not. Specifically, many media organisations are only helping to muddy the waters by failing to provide a balanced and properly nuanced coverage of reality, instead prioritising their own preferred narratives based on political biases. In some cases, they have even been misrepresenting individuals as scientific experts in subjects which they have little or no relevant expertise in. This is resulting not only in the belief of falsehoods, but also mocking of, and even discrimination against, those who hold alternative views. In some cases, these differing views are lazily labelled as conspiracy theories, to the extent that the phrase conspiracy theory has lost much of its meaning. In those cases, the concept of science is being treated religiously and generally without any trace of theism, so is essentially an atheistic religion. Conclusion Atheism is not a religious per se. However, many religions do have atheistic foundations. <laughs>